Hello guys, agri lovers, farm owners in the house. Welcome back to your favorite agricultural and agribusiness YouTube channel. On today's episode, I'm going to be talking about one important topic about people who just started their oil palm farming. I'm going to be talking about the principle guiding intercropping in oil palm farming. Maybe you must have heard about intercropping, how the benefits of intercropping how you can do intercropping. In this video, I'm going to be explaining explicitly uh, the principle guiding it so as not to get it wrong. How to do it, the benefit attached to it, everything about intercropping, about oil palm farming, you are going to be getting it on this video. So sit back and relax. But before I do that, I want to make two or three important announcements to people in the house. So, uh, over the two weeks ago, I think, the, my channel has been admitted into the YouTube Partnership Program. And this means that we have crossed the 1,000 subscribers mark, and also we have more than 4,000 watch hours view. Uh, thank you so much for everyone who have subscribed, for everyone supporting this channel for the likes, for the comments, for sharing our content with your friends and family. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate. And without all of you, there is no way I can achieve this. So, by the virtue of that, YouTube has given the channel the opportunity to activate two exciting opportunities on the channel. And the number one opportunity on the channel we have now in the, is the tanks, super tanks. So by this, uh, it means that whenever you watch a video or you feel like you've gotten so much value from this channel and you want to support the channel one way or the other, there's no opportunity for that. You can click on the thanks button and make a token donation to the channel to support the activity of the channel to encourage us to make more interesting, more educating and more exciting content on this channel. So if you want to locate the thanks button, if you look below the video showing on your screen, you will see the likes, dislike, uh, comments, share. I think the third or the fourth button, you will see the super thanks icon. If you click on that, you follow the prompt, you'll be able to make token donation. The, to the donation there starts from, I think, 400 Naira, like just a dollar. So it's just a way of encouraging me to do more and to make more quality content. So the number two announcement, the number two opportunity that has been activated on this channel is the membership. So YouTube has agreed that this channel is qualified, is, has been found worthy to run the membership uh, community uh, option on YouTube. So what this means is that we are now having uh, a kind of community for people who are making monthly subscription to the channel and they are going to be enjoying so much amazing opportunity. So we have exciting opportunity like uh, whenever, any, whenever you make subscription to be a member of the channel, you will enjoy the opportunity of having priority response to your comments. Whenever you drop a comment, there will be a badge attached to your comment and there will be a prompt reply to your comment. So henceforth, special attention will be given to people who are subscribers to the membership community. Whenever you drop comments, within three to four hours, you will receive uh, a response to your comment. And there's another opportunity of you have first hand access to videos on this channel whenever i draw video you will be the first set of people to be notified to enjoy the content and mind you there will be exclusive content there are times i will make a uh, video specifically for people who are subscribed uh, to the membership community and lastly but not the least you will have the unfettered access to me across uh across social media, uh, across all my social media and do like WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook. 
you will have access to me you will connect on whatsapp will connect easily across all social media uh, platform so if you want to locate how to if you want to know how to be a member of the this uh membership community just open my channel you will see where you will see subscribe go to my channel my channel page when you go to my channel page you will see join beside beside the subscribe button click on the join and follow uh the prompt thank you so much and lastly but not the least the third uh announcement i want to make in is concerning the oil palm manual book many people from this through this channel has bought this book i've sold close to 200 copies and the demand is still going on so i want you if you know what you are doing and you want to start your oil palm farming in the next farming season this is a must have for you it is not everything i would dish out freely on youtube for example the aspect of disease and pest management in oil palm farming it's a whole lot of like it's a very very elaborate area i will not be able to make exclusive content about it so if you know what is good for you just get a copy of this book it is quite avoidable and can be shipped across nigeria and even if you have if you are located outside nigeria i've shipped like 10 to out to 10 locations outside nigeria so get this book and let's do knowledge-based farming so the best way to do, go about farming is when you are equipped with the right knowledge and the right information. Thank you so much. So back to the back to today's topic. Uh, if you are watching for the first time, this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture. And the topic I'll be talking about today is about the principle guiding intercropping in oil palm farming. So as we all know, intercropping, as the name implies, intercroppings mean when you grow two or three crop on the same piece of land so and it is one of the practice that is normally advised especially when you when, when you have a young plantation it is usually advised that farmers engage in intercropping because of the numerous advantage that are attached to it so one of the advantage attached to intercropping is that it serve as a so it serve as an additional source of income to an oil palm farmer especially in the early days of your plantation in the early years of your plantation when you are just uh, taking care of your plantation and you will be waiting for around 3 years before your palm tree start fruiting intercropping will serve as a source of income for you you will be getting something from the farm you will be getting harvest from the farm and you will be getting some income for yourself. You will not just be wasting money to maintain the farm, to weed the farm every now and then. So that is the number one advantage of intercropping. The, num the number two advantage attached to intercropping in oil palm farming is that it gives you the opportunity to have a closer management of your farm. Because when you have other crop growing on the farm, you will be going to the farm frequently and this will give you the opportunity to be looking after your oil palm you will know how they are faring on the farm and lastly but not the least it gives you it helps in improving your soil property like soil fertility soil water retention where you are planting crops like cover cropping and all the sorts so those are the advantage attached to it so let's get to the the real deal of today's topic which is the principle guiding intercropping you don't just plant any crop any type of crop you don't just intercrop it with oil palm so as you all know there are two characteristics of the oil palm that you should bear in mind whenever you are doing intercropping the number one characteristic of the oil palm you should bear in mind is that oil palm is a is very sensitive to shade is a sun loving crop and anything that will bring shade to heat will affect its productivity that is the number one thing you must bear at the back of your mind the number two characteristic of the oil palm is that it have a very uh, sensitive rooting system it have a very sensitive rooting system because it have a fibroid rooting system though it is a relatively it have relatively depth 
but it's it have a fibrous rooting system and it is very very sensitive so you bear this thing and at the back of your mind and this one will be guiding you in knowing how you go about the intercropping so as you all know inter oil palm have growing stages as in there are developmental stages of the oil palm we have the developmental stage we have the production stage and and so on and so forth so in the in the early years of your plantation like from the day you establish your farm to a period of five years those are the early days of your plantation so there are a particular set of crop you are allowed to intercrop you are not expected to plant crops like to intercrop uh crops like maize in a large expanse of land that will overshadow that will overshadow the oil palm crop you are not expected to plant any crop that is taller than one meter are you getting me that is taller than one meter that will be forming sheet and overshadowing the oil palm crop so in the first five years of your plantation you can plant crops like granite like soya bean like beans like melon like watermelon like ginger like uh, chili pepper like habanero pepper like melon cover crops let me just put it that way you can plant cover crops and it's even advisable you plant cover crops you plant legumes because this one will be fixing like uh, nitrogen into your soil they will improve your soil quality and they will serve as a way of uh, mulching to the soil they will prevent the soil from losing too much water and by doing so when you plant a cover crop also they also help you in suppressing weed so you'll be spending lesser amount in weed in weed. so going forward after the fifth year you can be planting other crops like some cereals you can plant maize but what is important you must bear at the back of your mind is that you must maintain a distance at least of two meter apart from the oil palm tree you can plant crops like pineapple from the fourth or from the fifth year upward pineapple is uh is a shade is a shade uh loving loving crop is a shade uh tolerant crop i mean so it can tolerate shade to a very very large extent you can plant other crops like cabbage like other vegetables that are shade tolerant so whenever the when your oil palm tree has started forming a canopy you can plant some some crop that has shade uh, tolerant so these are the things you must actually uh, put in place another warning another warning avoid planting crops that will invite uh, rat squirrel and grass cutter to your farm especially in the early years and also when your palm tree have started fruiting crops like cassava except you know your area you don't have too much bush rat you don't have too much grass cutter because when you plant cassava at the early years of your planting uh, of your plantation it will invite grass cutter it will invite bush rat and when bush rat are on your farm they will eat up the seedling you are just planted and even when those uh, palm tree have started producing uh producing uh producing bunches those pests like squirrel uh, grass cutter they will also attack and they eat up uh, palm nuts so you must bear all this thing in mind do crop that will overshadow and when you know you are planting another tree crop you can you can intercrop crops like purple uh and uh plantain on your farm but if you want to do crops like this you maintain a very wide spacing you do it scantily scattered on the farm you do it scantily scattered so the two things you must avoid is that you must avoid shading you must avoid uh uh crop that we that that we that will give a kind of damage to the rooting system of the oil palm like harvesting cassava and you are planting it close to the oil palm tree 
it will affect the root system and as i've earlier said oil palm have a very very sensitive rooting system so these are the thing you must bear in mind whenever you are doing intercropping so as to avoid anything that will affect the productivity of the oil palm tree thank you so much and thank you for your time if you enjoyed this video and you got value from it one way or the other kindly give it a like share with your friends and drop comments in the comment section thank you for your time and see you on my next video Shishi.